Hi there, this is James Swanick, and you're listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast, where you learn how to take back control over alcohol and live a life of health, wealth, love, and happiness. I am one year, 365 days alcohol free. Yes, John Keltner, who joined our 90 day program exactly one year ago today. And what has happened in one year of no alcohol, John? Well, uh, I've gotten uh, I've gotten a lot more clarity. Uh, my health my health is much better. I've uh, lost some weight. Um, had to get had to get slightly smaller glasses because of all of the loss of puffiness in my uh, in my cheeks. Um, and my one of my goals uh, going into it was to um, to uh, improve my relationships, uh, especially with my uh, my children and and my 15 year old son who lives here with me, and that has um, that has uh, worked out great. Um, all of those things have improved. Amazing, and you lost 20 pounds, I think, uh, over the over the years. Yes, that right? yeah, I'm wavering around the 20 pound mark yeah, as we speak. Yeah, so, wonderful, wonderful, yeah. and and you said your sleep is better as well from not drinking. Oh, a- absolutely. Um, yeah, sleep, sleep through the night. And uh, I'm now I've, I've continued to kind of get up earlier and earlier trying to fit things in before I have to start my uh, regular, you know, professional day. Um, uh, and so at this point, I'm getting up at around 430 every morning, and fitting in some uh, stretching and some movement and some meditation. And, uh, and uh, three times a week, I fit in some basketball. In wow. It's amazing. Yeah. And what, just remind me, what was life like when you were drinking? Like, what were you drinking? How much, what was life like a year ago before you got on the call with me and before you enrolled in our 90 day program? And, and obviously, you know, now you've gone a year with no drinking. What was your drinking life like pre joining our 90 day program? Sure. Sure. So it was, um, it was pretty much every day. And um, I would basically look forward to the end of the day um, when I would uh, head over to my uh, local uh, my local pub here in town, and um, and uh, I, you know, as far as what was I drinking, Coors Light, um, whiskey, etc., and um, and pretty much, you know, would. Um, didn't, didn't sleep well. Um, wasn't, wasn't very clear headed, uh, did not look forward to getting up in the morning and getting going. Um, and really had a sense of, and I think I've expressed this to you before, um, what led me to you was a sense of having kind of, um, suppressed potential. Um, I was really feeling like I was not, um, taking advantage of my abilities and that um, alcohol was really holding me back. So I, uh, I'm glad that I found you and reached out to you. And I'm glad that you convinced me that day a year ago that uh, it's time to time to make a change. Um, and I can expand on that story if you'd like me to, because that's kind sure. of a good one too. Yeah, go for it. Um, you know, you had you had walked me through the process of why. Um, and I really appreciated that. And, and I still, I still have my notes from that day. Um, and, uh, and then we got down to talking about uh, the group and joining the group and the cost of joining the group. And I said, well, you know, James, you kind of gave me the price. And I said, well, you know, James, I really don't make buying decisions that way. I'd really like to think about it. And here it was, you know, late December. And I was thinking, I'll put it off until after the new year, you know, like a lot of people do. And, um, I said, I don't make buying decisions that way. And you said, well, how's that working for you? And I've, I've run that, I've run that script in my head many times since then, when I come to a tough decision about moving forward with something or making a decision is kind of the why wait, right? What, how's that, how's that working for you? And I would tell you that making that decision before the holidays last year, was really great because, you know, the holidays can be a tough time and I was kind of put to the test. Fortunately, you gave me some tools and some resources to help me with that. Um, But 
I really felt like, man, I got through the holidays and on to the new year. And, you know, by the new year's 10, 10 or 12 days into it, um, I really felt like I was off to a good start. So it was, um, it was a good, it was a good time to start. There was no need to wait. Right. And, and I appreciate that push that you gave me. Yeah. You're so welcome. And what was your experience like within our program? Who did you meet? What did you do? What was effective sure. that maybe you, you hadn't had, you know, for years before trying to reduce or quit drinking? Right. Well, I think, um, I think a lot of what I felt was that um, I was alone. I was by myself in this predicament, in this state of mind that I was in. And it was nice to meet the group that you had assembled that were people like me, entrepreneurs, professionals, and so on, that um, felt the same way, that they were somehow limiting themselves by their, you know, by their use of alcohol. And, um, and so it was nice to not be alone. Um, and then Kevin was a huge help. I mean, he just, uh, his guidance was tremendous throughout the process and, and the way he would help me to kind of reframe things on our weekly calls and work through things. Um, and then to see the progress that everybody was making and still to see the progress. I mean, I, I realize I'm not on the calls or, or very active in the Marco Polo group and so on, but it's fantastic to see the people as they make progress um, and really to have some accountability. You know, I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't think of the count day by day anymore, but, uh, you know, kind of the, the 20th of each month, I'm on to the... I'm on to the next, uh, to the next month. So, um, it was really, it was really a great, great, um, great group and a great program. And, and it was just so happened that the 90 days, uh, for me, uh, your wellness weekend was right after that. And that was a, that was kind of great timing um, for that mm. weekend. Cause that was mm. fun too. And, uh, what are your friends or family members or colleagues or associates or acquaintances or people down the pub where you're not drinking alcohol? What do they say to you now? What have they noticed about you now in this year of you being alcohol free? So uh, I can tell you when I first started, and again, it was at this time last year and, and kind of the first event that I went to, because one of the things that was appealing to me about your program was you said, Hey, John, you don't have to give up your friends. You don't have to change your lifestyle necessarily. I'm going to teach you how to do things without using alcohol, but you don't have to change. And that, that was appealing to me because, because I have friends that, that are, that I associate with, you know, with the, down at, down at my, uh, down at my local bar and so on. And I do things with them outside of the bar. In any case, at first, they were, of course, Oh, come on, you know, just have one. And they were trying to encourage me and, and, you know, called, called me some colorful names, just having fun with it and so on. And, um, but, you know, I was able to kind of stick through that and that, that all worked out fine. And in fact, that's where I got the name, uh, as you've, you've called me a couple of times, the soda crayon man, because that's what, you know, after a week or two of doing this now, my, one of, one of my bartender friends started calling me the soda crayon man. Right. And so I took that on. And I think um, that uh, they, they, along with the other people that I, and I, I didn't, um, I didn't announce it to my family or friends outside the bar right away. I kind of waited until I had my feet under me and felt a sense of confidence. So that was probably about a month or a month and a half into it that I started uh, letting my family know. And they were all very proud of me and thought it was very good. But I know that a lot of them were just kind of waiting and seeing, you know, how would, how would this go and, and so on. And, um, and still up still today when I see people and they'll, Hey, John, you still not drinking? No, not drinking. Oh man, that is great. That is fantastic. And of course, physically I've changed. Um, and everybody compliments me on that. Oh, well, you look like you've lost weight. And some of them kid me about being skinny and all this kind of thing. And, uh, it, it's, it's been really good. And, um, I have a sense of accountability to them too, in terms of continuing this. And I, I think that's, um, that's important. Right? You know, it gives me a, gives me something to continue to shoot for and, and to, to lead really. And, and, 
I, I think that's part of it too, as I, I have now kind of regained my sense of leadership in terms of, um, I have nothing holding me back. I'm only, you know, I'm, I'm kind of limitless now and I can, you know, I still have all of those self doubts around other things, but I have no, no physical, uh, things holding me back. So it's been great. Yeah. Wonderful. And just finally, just before we wrap this up, um, someone's watching you now, whether it's on an email or a video or or a YouTube video or on a Facebook or in a Facebook group, someone's watching you at some point, either now or in the future somewhere. And they're thinking, man, a year sounds like way too much. Like, I don't think I can even do 30 days or I don't think I can do 90 days. Like maybe I should just do moderation. I don't know about this. What would you say to that person who's also, also knows that alcohol is holding them back, but they have that fear that they won't be able to do it. So what kind of words would you, would you have for that person? Well, um, I would say, first of all, that fear is totally understandable. Um, based on our kind of our cultural conditioning. Uh, and I had all those fears going into it because it was part of my identity, right? Amongst my family and friends. So the first thing I would say is uh, reach out and try to get some help, try to get some coaching, right? And that's like with your program, um, with Project 90 is, you know, commit to some coaching and some uh, and a group and a community of like-minded um, people. And then you just take it day by day and it tends to, it will, you'll find that it'll just com- compound on itself in terms of how good you feel and how now time, I'll tell you that time will, sometimes it'll seem really fast and sometimes it'll seem really slow throughout this process, but how quickly this year has gone and um, how much, you know, I've, I've been kind of taking notes to myself on, on the things that I've been doing this last year um, and changes and, and progress and so on. And it's just amazing how quickly a year can go and how good you end up feeling and how excited I am now going into uh, a new decade into 2020 um, with my, you know, with my full capability and, um, and looking forward to it. So I would say the main thing is go for it and, and, uh, reach out and find somebody that can help you with it. And that's wonderful. You. Well, John, <laughs> congratulations, mate. You want to do a one Thank more, you. one more thing where it's like, I am one year sure. alcohol free today. Go on, do it with the big finger and come into the camera, do it loud and proud. All right. I am one year alcohol free, 365 days. Amazing. Well done, John. High five, virtual high five. It was a year ago today. I was in this very room and you were in that very house talking about it. And now a year later, we're here celebrating you being a year alcohol free. So I acknowledge you for that, mate. Well done. Thank, Thank you, James. Thanks, Kevin. And thanks to all the P90 past and present. Thank you so much for listening. I have some free stuff for you. If you go to jameswanick.com forward slash guide, I will send you my formula for reducing or quitting alcohol. If you'd like to watch the video versions of these episodes, then you can watch them at my YouTube channel, which is at James Swanick. If you'd like to send me a direct message on Instagram, you can do so at James Swanick. If you would like to try a three-day challenge, a free three-day challenge, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash three-day challenge. If you would like to try the 30-day no alcohol challenge, you can go to 30-day no alcohol challenge. If you would like to schedule a 15-minute exploratory call with one of my coaches to see how we may be able to help you in your alcohol-free journey, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash schedule. And my request is, if indeed you enjoyed this episode or you have enjoyed the podcast, would you please go ahead and rate the show in iTunes and would you please write a review? A review might just be a sentence saying, great, listen, hey, this was fantastic. Oh, I really enjoyed this. Whenever you give a rating, whenever you write a review, it surges our podcast up in the rankings, enabling more people to see it and hear it and potentially inspiring someone out there to reduce or quit alcohol and potentially transform their life. So yes, while it does help me to get ratings and to get reviews, you will actually be directly contributing to helping someone's life 
by having them discover this podcast. So if you are open to inspiring others and to helping me in the process, would you please go ahead and give this episode a ranking and would you please write a review? Thank you so much for listening and I will catch you on the next one.